Hello, well, differential equation students. In this problem, uh, which is in two parts, we're going to first verify that this expression is a solution to this differential equation here. And then we're going to solve an initial value problem. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. First, uh, let's handle question number one. Um, I already set it up here. Um, this is just a matter, simple matter of taking derivatives and then verifying that I have to use substitute this solution in for each of these expressions, x double prime, x prime, and x, um, that you get um, the left-hand side equal the right-hand side. So I set it up vertically, and you can see here, um, if you look at this vertically, you get the uh, the differential equation, x double prime minus 2x prime minus 3x equals 0. And then um, over here on the right-hand side, I just um, took x uh, double primed. Um, so let's start here from the bottom. So I just take x and I multiply each term by 3, or minus 3, and um, we get minus 3c1 e to the minus t minus 3c2 e to the 3t. Then I do the same thing. I take the derivative and then I multiply it by minus 2, which you can do rather easily, I'm assuming. And then I take the second derivative of um, the solution. And then um, I'm just going to add these up now vertically. And you can see that 2c1 plus c1 gives me a 3c1 minus 3c1. And that gives a 0. And then I have a minus 3 plus a minus 6 is a minus 9 plus a 9 also gives um, a 0 if I match up the uh, like terms. And so um, check, um, we have verified that that is indeed a solution to the ODE. Um, now we want to uh, go ahead and uh, solve this initial value problem. And really that comes down to um, simply solving for C1 and C2. So that's what this uh, question is really asking you to do. So x0 equals 5 and x prime 0 equals 1. Um, we want to determine if that is the case, what is x t? So um, let's uh, work on both of those. So if we have x0 uh, on the one hand, x of 0 equals 5. On the other hand, if I plug that into the solution, <clears throat> um, we simply get c1 plus c2. So c1 plus c2 equals 5. On the other hand, um, we have an x primed of 0. So x primed of 0. Now x primed is, um, remember, minus c1. <clears throat> plus 3c2. Because it's x primed, right? We took the derivative, the 3 dropped down and the minus 1 dropped down, so we've got the minus and the 3 from. And since e to the 0 is simply 1, we have a minus c1 plus 3c2 is um, equal to 1. So now we have a system of two equations. And we're going to solve for c1 and c2 based on this information. And that will be a particular solution of this uh, differential equation. Well, this is rather simple. I can just add um, these uh, together. And I have 4c2, c1 minus c1 is 0, equals 6. So c2 is equal to 6 over 4, which is 3 halves. And once I know that, um, I just plug in um, c2 into, um, I'll put it into this expression here. I get to now pick which one I want. And so C1 is equal to 5 minus 3 halves, which is 10 over 2 minus 3 halves, which is 7 over 2. So now that I have that um, C1 is uh, 7 over 2 and C2 is 3 over 2, um, I can plug that into the um, solution. And um, I have uh, 7 over 2 e to the minus t 
plus 3 over 2 e to the 3t and now this becomes a particular solution um, in fact it will satisfy the the initial value problem you can check that by um, plugging in 0 for t and um, Remember that that is just simply 1, and that is just simply 1. So 7 halves plus 3 halves is 10 halves, which is 5. So that, in fact, um, satisfies this initial value. And then, similarly, I can do the same thing if I were to take the derivative. Um, you would see that x prime to 0 does equal 1. Okay, good luck.